Alright guys, so the the Elite Clues are and all the new drops and stuff are coming out tomorrow. So I figured I'd show you guys a few things that will be useful um, if you guys are planning on camping for getting Elites or anything like that. Um, so first of all, this is um, all of the monsters that are going to drop Elite Clues in order of rarity, starting with the least rare. And I'm assuming that the three Wilderness bosses are equal, Callisto, Vetion, and Venonatus. They're going to have the highest drop rates of Elite Clues in the game. And as you can see, it goes down from here. Bear's chest, I guess, is the lowest drop rate. Um, and yeah, it says Willy Bosses and Lava Dragons in, term of, in terms of kills per hour are the best um, drop rate. So if you want to be getting clues as fast as possible, you're going to want to be killing the Wilderness Bosses, but obviously it comes with a bit of risk. Um, God Wars Dungeon Bosses are also going to be good. And then we have a lot of other bosses and like Demi Bosses and then Slayer Monsters and stuff down here. I'm surprised that DKs are so low because it seems like DKs are a pretty difficult boss, like practically on the level with God Wars Dungeon. Um, but anyway, so this is the full list. Feel free to pause it here if you guys want to decide which ones you want to camp if you are planning on going for some elites tomorrow. And the next thing I want to show you is actually the skill requirements to complete all elite clues. So there they are right here. I'll zoom in a little bit. Um, this is all the skill levels you're going to need to be able to complete every single elite clue in the game. This does not include quests. I'll try to find the quests that required that you need also so I can show that to you guys. But there are some, d some fairly high levels, so like 76 fishing is pretty high. Um, and a few other things. I mean, it's not like crazy levels, but um, I think it's probably going to be to catch a shark with 76 fishing, stuff like that. There are going to be skill-related clues, like 48 agility is actually for Apatol course, you, to complete a lap of the Apatol course, and stuff like that. Probably like making certain certain potions, pickpocketing a gnome, stuff like that. So um, you want to have all these skills if you want to be able to complete every single um, elite clue in the game. Right here, guys, is a full list of all of the items that are going to be released tomorrow. The, all the new items that are going to be released tomorrow inclu included with the clues um, and it has the levels of each of them and the universal ones link to this image will be in the description but it makes it it's a very easy table to see exactly what you're going to be getting from each level of clue um, and also there is one item that I'm not familiar with right here I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit it's called deer stalker and I really don't know what that is and then there's another one that starts with a B that's a secret that we'll find out what it is tomorrow I guess probably but I have no idea what a deer stalker is, so it'll be interesting to see. I don't think they talked about that anywhere, because I was pretty thorough when I was looking through all the different stuff. Pretty much everything else I recognize, um, and link in the description will be to two videos that compile all of the new rewards coming out that they have shown images of on streams and on Twitter and stuff like that, so that you guys can watch those and see. The first one is all is pretty much all the videos, I mean all the uh, images. The second one has a few extras that they released later on and a few other things, um, but link to those will be in the description, feel free to check that out, I encourage you to do so, just so you see exactly the type of items that we'll be getting, but this is just a nice image to make it look neater and everything, and link to this image, just like a push of this image, will be in the description also, so you guys can take a closer look. So we are going to be seeing a new NPC tomorrow named Sherlock, and what his purpose is, is you go to him whenever you have a skill clue, after you've completed the skill clue, and he'll give you your next clue, and it says that he'll be located between Ardoin and Camelot, so somewhere around in this er in this like foresty area right here, I'm guessing probably either in this area or in this area. I he, he, they showed him briefly on a live stream and he was in like an open but wooded area, like there weren't any buildings around. So probably going to be right here, right here. So your best bet for teleports um, is going to be Ardoin teleport or Camelot teleport. Also maybe a fairy ring right here, or um, if you have if you're on Lunars, you can use the fishing guild teleport. Or if you have a skills necklace, then you can teleport to the fishing guild also. And if you have a combat bracelet, you can teleport to the ranging guild. So a lot of different options for that. Ranging guild or fishing guild are actually probably the closest teleports, especially if he's up here, then ranging guild will be the best. But anyways, if you have a lot of Camel Camelot teleports on you, then you should be good to go to get there pretty quickly. Same with Ardoin teleports. Alright, so I'd like to direct your attention to this thread right here. I'll have a link to it in the description and the quick find code for it. Um, it's titled All Info for Clue Updates. So this is basically everything you need to know. Um, I figured I'd just make this video for guys, for you guys because um, the clue update is coming tomorrow and if, this is basically everything that you would ever need to know about um, what's coming out tomorrow. So first of all is the quest requirements that you're going to need. So um, you're going to need to do pretty much all of the major difficult quests, which is might be unfortunate for some of you guys. Um, you're going to need to have to be able to get into Mire Ditch, which requires a native of the Mire Key and Darkness of Hallowvale. Uh, both of which aren't, especially Darkness of Hallowvale is a pretty long quest. You'll have to do Morning's End Part 1 to be able to get into the Temple of Light. 
Um, you need to have fairy rings, so at least start fairy tale part two. Um, you need to have Don Lunar Diplomacy, Swan Song, De Death to the Dorgashun, The Giant Dwarf, Between a Rock, Great Brain Robbery, One Small Favor, Sheep Herder, Monkey Madness, All of Recipe for Disaster, which I don't think a lot of people already have it done anyways for um, Barrow's Gloves, and then Taiba One I Trio. So pretty much all of the major quests you're going to need to have done, and that and all of the quest requirements for existing clues still apply, and you, I'm not sure, but you may end up beginning... Uh, getting um, clues from previous like quests that have already been required and other clues. Here are all the skills requirements. I'll have a nice image up of um, all the skills required. I think I already showed that to you guys anyways. And here are all the droppers and this is the image that I had is taken directly from this thread. Um, and then uh, I've already showed you guys the rewards. The link will be in the description for videos of uh, that stuff. But there are there are like some average rewards which include like seeds Dragonstone stuff, dragon weapons, uh, half keys, onyx bolt tips, uh, stuff like that, summer pies, fire letters, which is unfortunate. <laughs> and they will give god pages also. Um, and then here are a few possible, or actually not possible, but definite, just like teaser clues that they released. And three of them they already have the answer to, so the beast retreat for the queen is gone. The song of this town still plays on, dig near this birthplace, the blades, blah blah blah. So you can pause it here if you want to look at these. I'm not going to just read them all out to you because that's kind of pointless. But um, these are a few of the clues that we'll be seeing. I'm sure there'll be lots more than this. But um, these are just a few of them coming up. So I think that's about all for this video, guys. I just want to keep it short and sort of make sure that you guys are prepared for the update coming out tomorrow. Give you any information that you might need. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.